Hey yo, ten shots, six blunts blowing through the session. Dragging on a split, free and dragging on a clip. A MC in a booth, an assassin on the roof. I'm just waiting to shoot. Make it hurry up and die. Uh, Greatest chunk of spares. You would think you had drama. Ladies, y'all know what this is, man. This is your day. It's Featherweight Wednesday. And uh, you know what? I was like, you know, I want to talk something. I've already talked Taya. Congratulations to her becoming the first ever woman champion. Featherweight champion. Let me let me address that right. Salute to her. Congratulations. But I was like, you know what? I want to give them something a little different. Something where I heard something. And I was like, you know, the cabeza starts going off, right? And I was like, all right. Paige. Yes, that page, WWE page. She says she's done with WWE. And I'm like, all right, interesting. She becomes a free agent July 7th. And I'm like, huh. Now, here's where my brain starts going off, where I'm like, there's pros and cons to this. One, she has been saying for a while that she's been medically cleared by her doctors. Two, WWE has been saying that's not the case. Now, we do know that WWE has said this multiple times while guys have been cleared and they say no and it is what it is. Now, I'm not saying whose doctors are right. I really don't give a shit. I am not going to do the he said, she said. I'm just explaining to you what the case is and how people have proven they've been healthy and WWE has said no. And um, I'm like, all right, well, now now let's, let's talk companies. One, I think that Paige is way too big for NWA. Doesn't make sense to me. No shots NWA. You have Camille. Camille is absolutely phenomenal. What she's been doing down in NWA has been nothing short of amazing. So congrats to her. And she's been an amazing women's champ too. Now, Impact Wrestling, they have a lot of females, right? That best women's roster in the game. Or they're, let me not say the best women's roster in the game. They are showcased the best in the game. Definitely not the best women's roster in the game. I'll still give that to WWE because they're super talented. They're just not, you know, done as well as Impact. Impact, you know, showcases their women to me better than everyone else. But you have Mickey James that's going back and forth between NWA and Impact. Tasha Steele's women's champ. Congratulations to her. Um, you have a lot of Deanna Perazzo. Ty has been there. So you have a lot of women in Impact that are already shining and doing their thing. So you're like, does she come in and do what? You know what I'm saying? Does it make sense for her to go to a very stacked roster and say, you know what? I want a shot at this. Who knows? I think at that point, Impact is actually very... um heavy loaded with the women they actually have more than what they need which is a beautiful thing so i'm like i don't think she fits there aew i mean you've heard the rosa complain about how the women aren't showcased on aew dynamite you know we're more on dark blah 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 but with Paige, i don't think Paige is a great talker she's a decent talker i think someone like Britt baker absolutely We'll take her to the woodshed. And you have Thunder Rosa. You have, uh, you know, the, the AEW roster, first off, is oversaturated with men and women. They're just, they're doing what, unfortunately, WCW was doing, signing everybody. So you're like, hmm, I wonder. And I don't know if Tony Khan would, you know, invest in her anyway. But I was like, she would be perfect for our MLW featherweight division. You know what I'm saying? If she's healthy. Think about that. You would have someone like Ty. You already have Holly dead. You then would have Paige. So you have three big names sitting at the top. And I'm not going to say big names. Like, you know, Holly has been killing it on the Indies. She's absolutely talented. And she's growing her name. Paige is already established. Ty is already established. But girls like uh, Brittany Blake, Zoe Sky, we're seeing them come in and do their thing. So there's an opportunity for them to keep going forward. And I think that with those three names sitting at the top with Taya and then adding someone like Paige to MLW's featherweight division, I think it would be crazy. I'm a fan of her work. If she's healthy, I think she could in a shorter run to, you know, maybe a one to two years with them and then do whatever she wants to do. She could help take that featherweight to another level. I think she does have that, that star power to her name. 
that she can absolutely do that. And what better way to produce going forward than that? That's my take on this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. Deuces.